So in the last episode, what we worked on was getting the uh, the the actual biome and the dimension set up in a system to get to the dimension. So today, what I wanted to work on was to actually put together the the grass. Uh, we'll be focusing on the grass mechanics a little bit later, but uh, the grass and dirt I wanted to kind of get to put together and stuff like that. So that's what I did today is I just basically put those together and uh, we needed to start with some actual texturing and that's basically what I did. I started working on just a quick texture for the actual grass itself. So this will be for the top. I'm using the same color uh, shades as the vanilla grass does, so it stays in the same color shading for the grass. Uh, this is just a uh, good practice to do when you're working with the hues and stuff like that for the, um, well, not really the hues, but the shading for the actual grass. So that's basically what I did. I just grabbed, used the vanilla grass as a palette. And then I just kind of brought it into uh, the thing and started working on some different pixels. And uh, then I worked on using a 32 by 32 to kind of see where the seams meet and kind of blended it a little bit better. So it would look a little bit better that way. And I just tiled it so I could see what it looks like. So that's basically what I did here. Uh, this is good practice for making uh, seamless textures as well. And finally, what I did was I worked on the side of the actual texture. So basically what this uh, will be used for is the side of the grass. It will overlay the um, dirt that we have. So again, using the same shades and stuff, I wanted to kind of bring in to the kind of grass theme. And I just kind of worked on playing around with the the lines and stuff like that I decided that this was probably the best option was like this and finally working on the dirt I didn't want it the same hue so what I ended up doing was I, I played around with a couple of the settings from the vanilla dirt just to get the shade and everything that I wanted for the dirt and then I started working with an outline for what I wanted the dirt to actually look like so I just started kind of messing around with the pixels and stuff like that to kind of get an outline for the dirt itself and then I could bring it into that 32 by 32 later but I did want it too saturated and high contrast, so I tried to mess around with the actual system for the um, where the pixels were located. Like I noticed that there was light, nice light highlights and stuff at the top, and I tried making it so it was pretty much the same for the darkest shade as well and to kind of give it the shadows and stuff like that it's actually really hard to work with um only four colors and stuff but uh, when i brought it into the 32 by 32 i noticed that it wasn't exactly what i wanted so i just kind of added a little bit more dark parts and then i cleaned it up a little bit by um adding some medium dark parts and then it kind of started to take form so the only thing that i needed to do then was add a little bit of noise and that's basically where the end result kind of ended up was it had a little bit of dark spots it had that and then again just testing to see if everything aligns and then i didn't like the the parts that were too big on the tiled part so i cleaned those up as well and lastly, what I needed to do was import all the textures. So what I brought in was all those textures, the side texture for the grass, the top texture, and the dirt texture as well. So then I could start finally working on the actual um, grass block itself. So I basically filled out the template for the grass block, made sure all the settings were set up. And then I could move on to actually setting the properties. I didn't actually know what the properties were at the time, but um, I basically just quickly opened up uh, Google and checked the properties and stuff. But I tried to make sure the settings were mostly accurate to what the uh, base grass is for the much as I can. I do need to make a loot table for the 
actual grass to test if the silk touch was being used or not so we'll probably be doing that a little bit later on but uh, the other properties we don't have a creative tab yet but I needed again to figure out what the hardness and resistance was so I browsed the grass page it's um, 0.6 uh, for the grass properties and then some other things that I wanted was the grass cover or the map cover and a few other things like that and I made sure that the random tick was also set up all right so then I needed to work on the dirt block which was pretty much the same thing just a little bit different so we needed a single texture for this and then I just set up all the other properties. Uh, again, I didn't know what the properties for dirt was, so I ended up bringing it into or going onto the wiki page at 0.5 for both of them. So you can set those. And then the other properties like the shovel and stuff I need to set. And outside of that, um, I did notice that AI pathfinding needed to be set up. So I set up the AI pathfinding for um both of the ent entities as well so i needed it to be blocked uh that way that it acts more like a solid block not like anything that entities can walk through so it's probably important to do that and yeah i did that for the grass as well and yeah so the dirt and grass are finally made lastly what i needed to do was create that loot table so we could basically go ahead and have silk touch work with the grass so i wanted to just quickly update this and i went back to that properties page copied the loot table uh, that it said that i needed the the uh, group for and then i set it up accordingly and then i was trying to figure out the way that i would do that so i decided uh that it would have to be controlled by this value here i would make like a on and off switch for if it were to drop the um depending thing i'm not sure if it's going to work or not but we'll test it later and see if it works if not then we'll be having to make another loot table entry and then do that set it up that way but um afterthought now it probably won't work all right, so after testing it in game, I needed to spawn in a witch, kill it a few times, and then uh, actually go to the dimension. So we would basically right click on the bed, and then we were in the dimension itself. So as you can see, we have no uh, foliage on this grass yet, so we'll have to fix that up. But uh, the texture is very nice, as well as the dirt texture. Um, grass doesn't grow in the area yet, so we can't really exactly get that to work just at the moment but we will and um yeah i'm pretty happy with the texturing and stuff like that it turned out really nice so we'll be working on getting the foliage set up next episode and probably the um actual system but if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out